All right, welcome to the first tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, we're going to take a look at specifically the logical formulas and functions. So instead of going over various options on the ribbon, I'm going to directly jump into the formulas and take a look at one by one of these various formulas. And we're going to start off with the logical function. So on your screen, notice, and under my formula tab, I have financial, logical, text, date, and time look up and reference, math, and some additional functions as well. So under logical, I have and, false, and various other logical operators and functions that we can use within our Excel 2013 environment. And this is pretty common because on a regular basis and day in, day out, you get to use these various formulas and functions. But you may not use all of them, okay? So some of these are generally ignored. In my experience, we don't really use the full functionality of Excel. So in this tutorial, we're going to go over some of the important logical formulas and functions so that it helps you and allows you to become more proficient and productive. So Microsoft Excel uh, provides essentially four main logical functions to work with certain logical values. And the functions uh, are basically AND, OR, AS OR, or AND NOT. And you can use these functions when you carry out more than one comparison in your formula or for instance you want to be able to test multiple conditions instead of just one and certain logical operators excel logical functions return either true or false as the result so let's jump right in in this tutorial we're going to take a look at specifically the and function of the formula as well as the if function or formula let me begin by first opening up a sample workbook here. So I'm going to go up to my file and quickly open, go to my computer, some data files here. And all right, here's the one, Excel expert, click open. And then opens a sample file for us. Just a sample spreadsheet with, let's say, about 100 rows. Okay. And then we have columns such as product, date, team, division, sales in stock, unit sold, and unit price, okay? I've tried to design this particular workbook to give you a feel for um, how you would practically experience within your workplace or your environment. I know there's uh, various industries have different requirements. You may be working with workbooks such as, which contains salespersons, commissions, or if you're in the financial industry, uh, you'll have a stock and bond evaluation spreadsheets and so forth. So either way, I'm gonna try to hit all these areas but our main objective is to understand and take a look at the various formulas that are available. And the first function that we're going to look at is the logical group, which contains all of these. Okay, so we're going to go on some of the most important ones first, and then we'll move forward. So in this tutorial, we're going to focus strictly on the logical functions, and we will be using this particular workbook, and I'll generate some formulas so as to give you an idea as to how you would go about doing so. Okay, let's take a look at our first formula here. So I'm gonna go up to my logical function and one of the first is the AND function in the formula. And once I click on it, it brings up a dialog box called the function arguments dialog box. And basically what this does is checks whether all arguments are true and returns true if all arguments are true. Otherwise, it's gonna say false, okay? Um, so we build our formula based on certain logical functions. So let me first move this aside a little bit. So let's focus on this column here, column G, unit sold. And we have as part of our first cell, which is G2, is 34, 37, and then so forth. Okay. So let's suppose that we need to do a range of units sold and we need to find out all units th those are between 20 and 60, okay? Those will return to be true and all units that are not within the range of 20 and 60 units will return to be false, okay? So just a quick uh, simple scenario that we'll take a look at. So our first logical function, you can use the logical function arguments and build logic here or you can directly type the formula okay so it's up to you so I'm going to show you both ways so to build our first logical value we go up to a logical one field and we're going to say 20 is less than g2 okay and this will evaluate to be true 
because 20 is the units and we are first making the logical function that 20 units have to be less than g2 and our second logical function will be g2 less than 60 so we're just specifying a range here and again you can build multiple logic within the same formula as well but for now we're gonna leave this as is and later on I'll show you how to build additional logical functions as well okay so once you're done with uh, stipulating the values or the conditions simply click OK and notice the result is true because the units sold are 34 and the range is between 20 and 60 and returns a value to be true and notice my result falls in J3 because this is where this is the cell that I had selected so that's where the results show up I can simply drag this up next to the column I which is adjacent to the unit price to make it uniform and notice what happens Excel automatically populates the entire column and copies the formula all the way down for the rest of the values so and this is again a powerful feature in Excel 2013 and I can always change this option so if I do not like the autocorrect option I can stop automatically creating calculated columns if I select this option then my only result will be only in this particular cell one cell that is and I can go to my control autocorrect options to permanently disable or enable this option okay great so notice in this instance the first value is true because the units are 34 and my formula says and anything between 20 and 60 and the same thing goes with the next value which is 37 let me find a value that's false here's one so that's 93 okay so clearly 93 is more than 60 so it does not fall within this range therefore the value is false okay so this is a good way to take a look at your certain values whether you're working with units or um, whether you're working with commission structures or comparing values uh, this is a very handy uh, function to use and it returns a true or a false value what if you like to take a step further and then also want to be able to find that if these values are outside the range then a message needs to be displayed as well okay such as the value cannot be determined or it's out of the range and so forth let's take a look at how that's done so I go to my J2 this is where I want the result to be for this particular row first and then later we'll copy it or Excel will automatically copy it once you create the formula because we have the autocorrect option turned on. So here I'm going to build the formula directly. So I'm going to go to my formula bar. And in this case, since I'm building a if value statement here, I'm going to say if and, and then my parentheses again, and just follow the same formula. 20 is less than G2. Build my next logical operator. G2 is less than 60. And you have to be careful with the syntax because if these values are not correct, your formula is, is going to return an error. 2 is less than 60 so I got my parentheses closed here for another logical can be g2 and then my text so I'm going to say this value cannot be determined or is out of range and then I think I have to close the parentheses yes that's good okay so if I hit enter okay I forgot one thing which was the equal sign of course for every formula and notice in this instance once I correct the formula it enters the value so if it's the same it enters the same value unit sold and if the value is out of the range this time it displays that the value cannot be determined or is out of range so a couple of ways you can do so either you can have it a true value or a false or you can have a true value and then specify a message for the user which is maybe user friendly so basically in this tutorial we took a look at how to work with some of the logical functions and primarily the couple of functions that we took a look at was the AND and then the IF function. Okay, so I hope this helps. Practice, take a look, use this in your workplace or your environment, and then let's move further into the logical functions in the next tutorial.